welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing another week in my life. It is Monday today. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know the date because I have been in such a Disney bubble for the last two and a bit weeks. I got home on Friday and then I've just kind of had the weekend to relax, to catch up with my friends and to see them. I actually ended up going out, like I landed Friday morning and ended up going out Friday night and Saturday night. And then all day yesterday, I was just to be honest, severely hungover, trying to beat jet lag and just catching up on sleep and doing all my washing and cleaning and all of the boring household stuff you have to do. So now it is Monday and I'm back to it and I was like, okay, I actually now need to film like normal videos again because all I've been doing for the last two weeks is filming videos in America and vlogging my life and I honestly had the trip of an absolute lifetime. I can't actually put into words how incredible the last two weeks were. I feel so grateful to have been able to do that trip and to be able to have taken my family with me and obviously has came for the last week as well and I was just in such a Disney bubble and obviously I went to LA before that and that whole experience was insane as well yeah to be honest I will never get over how incredible my April has actually been so yeah I did vlog the majority of my trip but what was really nice is when we had duplicate days so like say we went to Animal Kingdom like twice which we did the second time I didn't vlog it at all and I was just there in the moment and enjoying a holiday with my family and watching Atticus be so just wrapped up in the magic of Disney and enjoying it so much as a child was like the biggest blessing because it made it so much more exciting for me and yeah I just I can't put into words how incredible the trip was so if you do want to go and watch all of the vlogs and all of the other main channel videos that I filmed out there I have made a playlist so I will link it down below. I know I got a lot of questions as well as to why has joined the family holiday so I feel like I'm going to clear that up now because she also put it on her Instagram story before she flew out but basically not that it really matters and I don't really understand why so many people were asking about it anyway but has was just having a really hard time and I I mean I think it's pretty obvious anyway but my friends are basically my family I do every single thing with them I know I live on my own but I practically live with them we all live together we see each other every single day and my family is in my mum and Atticus absolutely adore all of my friends and you know my mum also recognized that Haz was going through a really hard time and my mum wanted to have her on the trip with us and she was just the best addition to the trip ever and we had so much fun and what was really nice for me as well was because in the second week you know it's, it's a big holiday it's a lot you wake up at like five Five, six o'clock every morning and you're out the door by seven eight and then you don't get back in until 10 11 at night and for an eight year old Atticus is now eight because obviously he had his birthday out there that's a lot and he was getting really tired in the evenings in the second week which you know kind of worked in my favor in the sense that Haz was there because I got to stay out with Haz and I got to go on all of the big rides that I really wanted to go on that Atticus couldn't because he was too small and me and Haz got to go out for some really nice dinners and yeah it was just it made my holiday so much better as well and yeah that's basically why Haz was coming just to clear that up because I got so many questions and I know she did as well but yeah i'm now home you can probably hear i'm a little bit bunged up i've got such a bad cold i don't know what it is my immune system is so so bad and it's so annoying and i just pick up like every cold ever so um yeah i'm bunged up again i probably didn't help myself because when i went out this weekend i wore clothes as i was still in florida do you know what i mean like i forgot that i was actually back in rainy windy manchester and not 30 degree heat so i went out in like tiny little like crop tops and then i wonder why i'm ill anyway i am gonna do a weekly vlog i don't know if it's gonna be a week it might be two weeks Weeks. who knows honestly I don't even know my weekly vlogs anymore I feel like I just pick up the camera and just vlog whatever and then it gets edited together and we have a video so that's what I'm gonna do but I am gonna do you guys a little bit of a Florida haul because I picked up quite a bit of stuff whilst I was out there I love shopping in America it's one of my favorite things ever and I always do you guys a haul I was gonna put it in my last video but the last vlog episode was so long I was like okay I'm gonna have to put this in a separate video so first thing that I got I got my Nala I am so honestly I love Nala so much as soon as I saw this in Animal Kingdom on on the second day of the trip I was like I need it and then when we went back me and Haz got matching and I think I'm just gonna call the bear Nala I don't know if I'm gonna change its name but it's so soft I sleep with it every single night I haven't there hasn't been a night since I've been home that I haven't slept with it and yeah I just love it so this was my main souvenir from Disney I got myself a Nala and then Disney wise to be honest I wasn't really buying a lot in the park just because I feel like there wasn't really anything that I needed and I didn't want to buy stuff just for the sake of it Atticus got a lot of stuff in the park which I was showing in my vlogs but my mum actually bought me this because 
I don't know if you guys know, but I love scrapbooking. It is one of my favorite things. And I really wanted to make a book of the trip. Just so, because I feel like the next time I go to Disney World will be with my own family in the sense of like my husband and my children, everything like that. It's probably won't go for like 10, 15 years. And I want to be able to carry on this scrapbook with my own children and my own family one day. So my mum got me this beautiful book here and it is Sleeping Beauty's like diary book thing. And I have all of the maps and everything in here ready to stick in. And I also took with me a disposable camera. So I need to get all of those pictures printed to put in here. But I'm going to make a scrapbook of my trip and I'm going to get loads of pictures printed from my phone as well. And then I can keep this book forever. I can show my children one day and then I can continue the book. So yeah, my mum bought me this as a little, um, is it moment Momentum? No, it's not called that. What's it called? Not memory. I can't think of the word. Anyway, then I went to Bath and Body Works, which is one of my favourite shops ever. Still have a load of Bath and Body Works stuff up there actually from when I went to Dubai as well. I got three three wick candles that I still haven't lit, um, which is why I didn't get another three wick one. But I did get the Peach Prosecco Macaroon Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. It was just a must. I saw it and I was like, oh, you're coming on with me. And then I did get some candles. These aren't the three wick ones though. These are the one wick ones. I actually got two of the same scent because I smelt it and I was like, oh, that's a bit of me. And it is the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. It's so good. Like, so, so good. I'm actually going to put this out in my living room in a minute. Oh my God, it smells amazing. And the thing with Bath and Body Works candles is you burn them and they literally smell for months. Like, it's not just like a day thing and then the smell will go. They will smell for months. And then I also picked up a refill because I've got a Bath and Body Works plug-in and this one is the Salted Butterscotch and Vanilla one. And then I also picked up a Whipped Vanilla Lip Balm. And then I got three of the pocket backs. So I got warm vanilla sugar, honeysuckle and peach spritz and a strawberry pound cake just because I love pocket bags. And apparently, like when I went to Dubai, they said they were discontinuing them. I don't think that's true because when I was in LA, they had so many. Um, but yes, that's what I picked up from Bath and Body Works. Then we went to Target and I picked up a few things. So I got the EOS Shea Sheer Butter Shave Cream just because I love EOS stuff and I was like, oh, why not? So I was like, well, it was just a little travel mini version. And then I got this because I love EOS lip balms. This is the EOS Birthday Cake Super Soft Lip Balm. So you've got the classic round one and then you've also got a stick version. And EOS is so much cheaper in America, which is why I got it there. And then I had to get some of my favorite cereal. This is the Honey Made S'more cereal. My favorite, favorite cereal ever. Um, and I saw it in, uh, what do you call it? Target. And I was like, I have to bring some back. Even though I really didn't have space in my case, I was like, it's got to come back with me. And I'm really annoyed. I bought a big tube of honey mustard as well from Target. And then I was like, no, my case is going to be over. I really sadly can't take it. My case was over anyway, and I had to pay. So I might as well have just taken it, which is really annoying. And then at Disney Springs, they had a Coca-Cola shop, which was like heaven on earth for me because you guys know it's my favorite drink ever. So I got this bottle, which is so cool. And it's a Coke bottle and obviously it's all red. And it says Walt Disney World on the back. So I was like, that's such a nice little like memory to have of the trip. So I've got that and then I've got some pajama bottoms. My mum actually got me these. She bought me these as a little present, but I chose them and they've just got loads of Coke bottles on. And I was just, you know when you see something and I was like, I need those. Like just imagine on a Sunday night when you've cleaned and you've cooked and you sat there like freshly shaved and moisturized. Then you put these on like, that's that's a dream Sunday night for me. And then finally, to be honest, I didn't actually do that much shopping. But when I was in LA, I went to the Sorella store on Melrose and Fairfax and they sell girls talk. I got some girls talk socks. I got a pair of girls talk green shorts. And then I got the girls talk green hoodie. I just love girls talk stuff so much. And I haven't been able to buy it for years because obviously you can only really get it in LA. So I picked those up. It was quite expensive actually, which is really annoying. However, I will get loads of use out of it. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Florida. I am now going to go pack all this away. I've got so much PR I need to open as well. So I think I might like open it all off camera. I don't really know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I have work to do and I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow as well because luckily I, well, which is really, really nice. I had two weeks off completely of doing like emails and work and stuff. However, I found out so many exciting things whilst I was away. That I cannot wait for you guys to see. And yeah, I cannot wait to go to them as well. Like when you guys see what I'm actually doing, I don't think you're going to believe it. So yes, I don't really know what this vlog is going to bring, but it's going to be an interesting week fingers crossed anyway it is the next day are we shocked are we surprised that i didn't vlog anymore yesterday probably not because this is why my weekly vlogs are always all over the place and have no sort of like schedule or like time not timetable to them like structure that's what i was looking for structure to them because i end up vlogging a little bit and then i forget to vlog for the rest of the day however today i am well actually it's not even today it's 4 53 it's the evening and it is wednesday did i vlog on monday oh my god i didn't even vlog yesterday okay i'm a really really bad weekly vlogger anyway Anyway, thank god this vlog's gonna be two weeks it is wednesday it's five o'clock i have been doing some work bits today and i've just finished getting ready and tonight i'm actually going to rosso rosso is one of my favorite restaurants in manchester it 
is so so beautiful and they do this truffle and sausage pasta which is incredible and truffle at the moment is my favorite thing so going there tonight it's going to be me callum has Gemma, shannon and shannon never actually met shannon and shannon before so i'm really excited to meet them um we're going to go out for some nice drinks and some food i'm going to get a strawberry daiquiri because they do frozen strawberry daiquiris at rosso best cocktail ever and i have gone for a really cute little updo with my hair today um my hair was really really greasy i tried to straighten it and it just didn't look right at all so i've popped it up in a little low bun and then i'll show you guys my outfit in a second i've gone for a very just a cool casual vibe i can normally go for cargos obviously the girls that get it get it and yeah we're gonna go to rosso and then potentially either go for some drinks after or freya's gonna come over and we're gonna have some dessert i'm not too sure yet but either way i'm very excited i've got a really nice evening ahead of me the lighting in my apartment makes it so hard to show my outfit so i'm gonna have to show you in this mirror which kind of distorts you but i love this top it's so cute and then my cargos are from manier devour is that how you say it they're probably the nicest black cargos that i own they've got like loads of kind of things coming off them here um and i've got like a really thick black waistband these cargos were a potential for the kardashian premiere however in the end i did go for a dress but i did buy these thinking oh they could be a potential so this is the first time i'm wearing them out and then i've got my bag and my shoes and i'm very excited i need travel pasta in my belly <laughs> I've come to Yard and Salt. Coop in Northern Quarter for some food. This looks so good. I got honey mustard chicken wings. I got dirty fries and mac and cheese. I got dirty fries. What do you get? I got nugs. Nugs? What do you get? Not a Friday night wagon was at five past 11. I, I think the last thing I filmed, we were sat on Byron's rooftop and I've had the loveliest, loveliest evening. So I'm gonna catch you up on my last couple of days because I have been a really bad vlogger and I'm gonna do a little mukbang. So I got some food from Wagon Mamas. I got the hoisin duck bun things, but I don't know what's happened to the duck. I got some edamame, I got some bang bang cauliflower and then I got some sticky rice and katsu sauce and just poured it on top. And this is gonna be my dinner. I haven't really eaten much today and I don't really know why. I've just been doing stuff all day that I haven't really eaten. I had that food earlier, which was unbelievable from that chicken place, but I just really fancied like a nice, healthy, is this kind of healthy meal, I guess? Mm. So to catch you up, this week, I found it quite hard to get back on track and do things. Like I was saying to my manager, you know, I'll send you this today, I'll send you this today. And I just never did. And I found it really hard to get back into routine. Maybe it was a slight jet lag. Mostly I think just getting back into routine really after holiday, I've just kind of really struggled with it. I feel like this evening has just really like switched me back. So we went for drinks. Oh, well, at first we went to Northern Quarter, obviously, as you would have seen. And then we went for drinks on Byron's rooftop. And then we just sat and had like a DMC, like me, Callum, Byron and Freya, for like an hour. Hazard's at home, and Hazard would have been there as well. And it was so nice just to have a conversation, like a real deep conversation with each other. And I just absolutely loved it. And it's really given me like the motivation that I needed to come back here. I've tidied my kitchen. I'm going to tidy the office. I'm going to tidy the bedroom. going to tidy the living room. Not that the living room is really messy anyway. I'm going to give it a clean over. I'm going to put all my washing in. And I'm just going to sort myself out. And I've got some ad stuff to edit so i can get everything over after the bank holiday weekend but i really want to enjoy this bank holiday weekend and have like my last kind of like time off doing proper work because i have got the busiest busiest most hectic work schedule starting from tuesday for about six weeks straight mm. I ended up talking so much, I forget to eat. So good. Let's try some of the cauliflower quickly, actually. I hope it's not cold as well. Mmm. Cauliflower is so good. Very spicy today, though. Literally the busiest work schedule ever. And I feel like I'm not going to have a weekend free to myself for such a long time. So I want to have, like, a really nice weekend with my friends this weekend. So many exciting things coming up. I'm going to film it all and vlog it all for you. But, yeah, just a really busy, busy time in my life. As well as doing, like, normal YouTube videos and stuff. So I'm really excited. But also, to I'm on the topic of that, what do you guys want to see? Because American videos have done so well. I don't know what to do off the back of that now because I went to America with like loads of ideas and I've come back and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like I did that dessert video that I absolutely love the trying the TikTok viral dessert shot. And obviously I'm doing like a weekly vlog now, but what else do you guys want to see? Like, please let me know because it'd be really, really helpful. I really enjoy vlogging my life and doing like very vloggy style videos. So if this is something that you enjoy watching, just like listening to me talk, then I'll definitely do more of these. I also really want to do like a girls chat, boy talk sort of video. Um, so I think I might film that next week. Like, 
like a girls night in and make like a cocktail and maybe make my own like sushi or something and my own food and just sit and have like a chat and answer like taboo talk questions i've woven this end of my way around for so long Oh, we not even one in there. Do I eat it? Maybe I ate it and forgot. I don't know what's going on with me lately. But yeah, that's my catch up. I am going to go and I'm going to eat my food. And I thought this was going to be a mukbang, but I can't actually eat whilst I'm talking. That's the problem. So it was a really fun plan to come up this weekend. I think we're going to go for coffee with Tia tomorrow. And then we're having Mexican night tomorrow. And then we're going out on Sunday night of full bank holiday. So of course I'll film that because it's like a massive group of us. But yeah, cheers. And um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Just wanted to let you guys know that I am actually in the video that is currently playing on the outside of the Foot Asylum store in the Ardell in Manchester which is crazy didn't even know it was there Callum just happened to see the dog on screen and he was like oh I swear and a shot with the dog then it was me on screen so it's really really cool if you're in Manchester and you walk past the Ardell make sure to go and have a look at it you literally cannot miss it it's on the outside of the shopping centre and send me a video because I would love to see and thank you so much for Asylum Women's and Frenna for this opportunity it is literally crazy and I cannot believe my face is on the side of the shopping centre it is Mexican night it is Saturday and the time is 7 38 and I'm about to head downstairs to the shop uh, in my building and I'm gonna go and get some food for tonight We're gonna have a little Mexican night me Callum and Freya I'm really excited and I think we're gonna watch like a film or something Don't know why we always end up having Mexican nights Like we never really eat any other food when we're cooking together We always just end up cooking either like fajitas or nachos or something like that So did try to zap the stuff however, there's no meat on zap at the moment, which is really annoying So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs get some chicken get some wraps some fajita seasoning some peppers stuff like that um, And we're gonna have a little a little cooking sesh. I'm excited. This is like the best way to spend a bank holiday. Daddy, Mexican night. Gluten free. So Gluten, Gluten free because we're testing our stomachs to see if they react. Hey guys, oh, a little update. We are watching <laughs> Benador. <laughs> what is it? Never seen it before. Disregard my intentions. <laughs> My toes, no. We've got family arguments going on. You want it? You got it. Your toes feel like a squishy. Yeah. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is my laugh. Oh, babe. Oh, Callum. Hey, first. My energy's buzzing. Wait, you crazy that time. So, what are we gonna. <laughs> yeah. So much. I don't know what to say, really. I wanted to vlog, but I actually don't know what to say. We had our. Oh, sorry about what you suggested. Oh, Jesus. Did I say yesterday? I don't think. Kardashian, oh my god, it was yes, a joke. Yes, Anna Kay. Thank you. Thank you, Kardashian. Queen energy. Succeed. We're now watching Benador. That's the update anyway. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bank holiday Sunday tomorrow. We're going out now. Hello everyone. It is another day, another part of this vlog. Today is Sunday. It's the day before bank holiday. I honestly don't know what I vlogged. I promise the vlog actually is going to get better and there actually will be some like full on proper content in this vlog. I saw loads of people comment on my video today because I uploaded the final day. Disney vlog and loads of people were saying that they really want me to do a section in a video where I talk about you know the pros and cons of going to Disney and Universal and I feel like I learned a lot along the way and there was definitely more research that I could have done before I went to the park so I think in this vlog I'm going to do a little sit down talky part where I basically speak to you about some of the pros and cons of Disney so if you don't want to watch it you can skip past that bit I'll let you know when it's going to like come um, but I'm definitely going to do that but today's Sunday and I've had the most lazy Sunday ever and it's been so nice I woke up I had a lie in um, I actually fell asleep last night doing work and I woke up with my laptop open and my diary next to me and I woke up really disorientated I was like oh my god like where am I what's the time realizing that I slept the entire way through so I finished my work this morning and then I've actually been binge watching a series called liar these liar or liars which is really good and then I switched that off and I've now been watching pretty little liars pretty little liars is like a comfort series for me and I really fancied watching it again so I'm just watching the episode where they get put in the dollhouse and it's just so good it's very like nostalgic for me have got on ready I am wearing this gray a top and then I've got on some grey trousers too. It's really annoying that they're not the same grey actually. If they were it'd be really nice. Um, and then I've just straightened my hair again and yeah we're going out tonight. I'm waiting for Tia and Freya to come over mine now. I think Freya's going to be here in like 10-15 minutes and then Tia not long after. We're going to have a couple of pre-drinks and then we're going to meet Haz, Gemma and Reese out. And we're going to go to Albert's Lost tonight which I'm really excited for. I love it there. Um, and then we're actually going to meet Byron and Lou and all of Lewis's friends. Basically Byron went out day drinking today so they are already quite drunk so when we meet them I feel like everyone's gonna be really really drunk already I'm yet to have a drink and it's like half past five so I'm not planning on having a too too late one because I am now actually going away tomorrow for bank holiday so I won't be vlogging tomorrow and half of Tuesday but I'll resume the vlog on Tuesday but I'm excited and I've got to drive tomorrow so I don't want to get too drunk to the point that I wake up really hungover and then don't want to drive so yeah that is the plan I'm very 
excited and we're gonna do a little say it or shot it in a classic weekly vlog style we love doing a say it or shot it so i'm gonna get my sours out ready for when Freddie gets it i don't know why but we just won't shot anything else sours is the only thing that i can shot like tequila maybe vodka absolutely not tequila rose i will do but for say it or shot it trusty sours is coming out we're back we're trusty back <laughs> Part nine. <laughs> right, mine is to you. It's not a question, it's more of a task. So if you don't want to take this gorgeous shot tonight, you have to go to at least five guys, get their numbers, and the best looking one, you have to give them a kiss. Yeah, I just can't be that <laughs> So, <laughs> so cheers. cheers! Cheers! Oh, my hands are sticky. That was good, wasn't it? Well, I could give you a task. No, you can give me a task. I think that's fun. But are you going to do the task? Well, you have to tell me what the task is and then I'll decide. And if not, if you try and do it yeah. and you fail it when we're in there, yeah. then you have to do another shot when we're in there. Right, okay, yeah. I like that. Okay, okay, this is fun. I dare you yes. to find three guys right. in there. It's going to be very easy, Albert's very It's nice. going to be very easy. You have to invite them to the table <gasps> and sit them down. No. And you have to lie to each one of them and tell them that you do a different job so you have to say that you know like do i have to invite them to the table or can i just get into conversation with someone and lie if you them? can get into conversation and i can hear you saying and lie to them because the, the reason right, I okay, that, my three jobs the reason i said that is because byron was replying to comments about freya yeah. on his video saying that freya was off to do these weird jobs like she was gonna be a red coat and <laughs> buttons so you've got to tell someone <laughs> i was gonna go gonna, backpacking across australia you've got, you've got to tell someone you're going backpacking on australia and you leave on monday right you've got to tell some another person that you start your red coat job at butlins tomorrow <laughs> okay you can't tell another one that your boyfriend broke up with you this morning and you're looking for a fun time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're actually going to do it? Yeah, of course I will. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to bring the vlog camera along so we'll actually see if she does it. Yeah. So you're not going to do that shot? No, I'm not going to do it. Not even for funsies. <laughs> How's that fair? I'll do some baby Guinness when we're in there. Yeah, okay. Mm. That's kind of fun, actually. I'm glad you've got a task to do. If I get out, you buy me a shot? Yeah. Tequila Rose? Yeah. Free each guy? Yeah. <laughs> And that's fine, I can find anyone in our so shops. Backpacking a cup to Australia. Tomorrow. Red coat for Butlins on Monday. And you're heartbroken. And you're heartbroken with this morning. She was like, <laughs> what was her boyfriend's name? What was your boyfriend's name? What was her boyfriend's Should we say, no, 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 let's say, um, let's say, let's say his name is James. Okay. James. Your ex-boyfriend's name is James. My ex-boyfriend's name is James. What was his job? Plumber. Um, he was a plumber. He was a plumber. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend's name was James. He was a plumber and he broke up with this money on my heartbreak. How long have you been together for? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> on it. <laughs> on it. <laughs> Good 
morning and welcome back to another part of this vlog i don't know what day it is again worst vlog ever however it is now oh no i don't know what day it is i just don't know what date it is um it is now tuesday i am actually off to london i everyone is graduating and i'm so excited i'm getting to go to their graduation so it's byron freya has josh like everyone i'm so so excited they've got the graduation tomorrow so we're heading up today and we're gonna have a bit of a nice chill day in london got a load of work to do on the train and then we need to go to oxford street to get freya an outfit and then we are going to go to Flossie's this evening um, and we're going to have some food with her which is going to be really nice I haven't actually seen her new apartment in person so I'm excited for that and then um, we're going to head to our hotel tonight I think I'm going to check in first actually because I've got a suitcase they've got duffel bags but I've got a suitcase um, and I want to dump it first so I'm going to check in at the Zedwell our favourite hotel ever show you a little room tour when we get there um, and then yeah do that and then tomorrow morning wake up we've got the graduation at I think it's 12.45 and then we're going to have some drinks and food with everyone after and then head back to Manchester on the 10 o'clock train so I feel like this is going to be the last little section of the weekly vlog still need to do the little Disney talk through which I also will do I'll probably do that either when I'm home tomorrow or Thursday morning actually but I'm really excited I feel like it's been a while since I've been to London just waiting for the Uber to get here now Freya's doing like stops and just picking us all up so just picking Byron up first then me and then we'll go to the station um but yeah I'm excited here is my suitcase I haven't really got that much in it to be honest I've got toiletries hair stuff tripod laptop clothes for tomorrow and clothes to sleep in and no underwear very very basic packing quite light i wish i had a duffel bag to fit all this in so i didn't have to take a suitcase just for one night trip so i actually might look into purchasing a nice duffel bag but yeah this is my suitcase and i'm just waiting for the uber to come pick me up now anyone wondered what food we got from um sainsbury's we did buy the entire shop i got a red leicester sandwich i found this which i've never seen before i've never seen a chocolate bar before have you seen a milky way magic stars chocolate bar before no i haven't there you go. Never I got a trio of olives. A trio of olives. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We just had to move because our seats suddenly came up as reserved. So now we're in actual available seats. So this is my meal deal. Got a sandwich, we've got this lollipop, nomadic pot, trio of olives, a Coke. And then as I was saying, I've never seen these before. The uh, magic is my favorite chocolate, so I'm all excited to try it. So we're at Milk Tea. So it's actually home for me. So I could bring my mum right now and be like, mum, can we have a lift? But the train has been terminated. I'm not actually sure why. Um, and we are currently stuck at Milk Tea, just waiting for further announcements. So this is us. Graduation's cancelled. This is us for the next I don't know how long I hope Freya not. was literally shouting at me like five minutes ago like eat your food eat your food so I've eaten all my food now so I don't have any food to eat but yeah this is us I'll keep you updated don't worry guys we are stranded but Anne and Dex are here we've got Anne there's Anne <laughs> and Dex it's fine they're over there they're keeping us company yeah we're just deciding whether to Uber to London or not or to sit and wait we said we're going to wait an hour and then if it's been an hour then we'll call an Uber oh I'm going to try this actually can try it have got some on it Oh. I'm going to say it. 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 i am going to She's cheeky playing hide and seek, naughty, naughty. Oh god, do you guys want to see the stage? It is massive. Guys, it's so warm. I'm sweating. Look at me. What am I doing? What is this? Here is the stage. Yeah, it's looking pretty empty considering everyone's meant to be seated within the next five minutes. I really want but, um, to show Byron's work. Yeah, saying they're showing loads of work on the screens. We're just waiting for one of our lot's work to show up. I don't think Ryan and Fraser will be on there, but Byron's <laughs> definitely will. Then again, Josh or Emily's going to be. Yeah, or Hannah's. Or, Hannah's. or Daisy. They did really good work.
it is Disney tip time. So I got a lot of questions basically where people were just saying to me, like, do you have any tips for Disney World? And I have a couple because obviously if you guys have seen already, I went to Disney, got back, I don't know. How long has it been? Like two weeks? I honestly I have no idea. Like time is just flying by. But I definitely learned a lot of things out there and I definitely could have researched more before I went. So I have a couple of tips that I wanna let you guys know that if you are going, just to make sure that you use them. So the first one, which this might be a given, but we weren't very aware of it, is do not buy bottled water. Every, every Disney park, you can go into any restaurant, not the, the stalls, like the stands where they don't have like a kitchen, but any restaurant and you you can ask for free cup like in a cup ice water and they will give you a massive water for free everywhere else in the park it's three dollars fifty or four dollars for a bottle of water and they make it very obvious as though you should just buy the bottled water and like there's no sign saying like free water blah 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 but when we were there someone messaged saying don't buy bottled water because we were we were buying bottled water for like the first week and they said go to the restaurant and you can get free water so even if you just go up to the door of the restaurant and say hi can i get some water they have to give you it and we were doing it all the way around the park and it saved us so much money and it's nicer as well because it's in a cup and it's got ice in it and they give you like a straw or whatever so definitely do that if you go to disney just get and they have to do it at universal as well just get free ice water everywhere don't buy bottled water the next one this was a definitely a research issue on our behalf but if you're going to do universal and islands of adventure make sure you buy both parts of the ticket for however many days you're going so when we went we only bought the universal part of the ticket because we weren't aware that to get to the other side of the park which is islands of adventure you need needed to buy that ticket too. So when we were in Harry Potter, we wanted to go to the castle. We were in the um, Diagon Alley Park and we asked a worker, we were like, how do we get there? And they were like, do you have the pass to go to Island of Adventure on the Hogwarts Express? And we were like, no, what's like, what's that? And she was like, oh, you need another park ticket. It's in the other park. And they're so sneaky because I don't personally think that it's that obvious. Like when we were looking at the map and stuff, the whole Harry Potter pit is on both maps. So it's definitely a money-making thing. But make sure if you do want to do the whole of Harry Potter, so the Hogwarts Need and the Diagon Alley, make sure that you buy both the Universal and the Island Adventure ticket for the same day, otherwise you have to do them separately like we did. Cues. So I went in April half term, which is obviously when the queues are going to be massive anyway, but we actually found that the queues were so much better in the evening. So we were rushing every single morning to get up and get into the park for like first thing, which never actually happened. I don't know how people get there for like six, half six in the morning because it just wasn't happening for us. Like everyone was too tired. Like it's just with kids, it's hard. But we found that by half six, seven, a lot of the people who had been in the park in the morning clear out and leave and go get dinner. And then the park gets it's a lot emptier so all of the queues are normally like two hours go down by half like everything is so much easier to get on so i would actually personally recommend like not rushing as much in the morning and spending you know obviously still go at like 10 11 o'clock but in the evening do the bigger rides because it's just the queues are so much easier another thing so because of covid they dropped loads of things so they actually don't have the fast passes anymore they only have the genie lane so i bought the genie lane when i was booking the tickets which is basically a lightning lane which is essentially fast pass which you can go in but you can only use it once a day per person if you want to use it again you have to pay ten dollars it honestly just is a money-making thing so we did that and then we got there on some of the days and we were like oh we want to use our lightning lane today for this and it said it wasn't available and we were like hang on a minute we've paid like so much extra money for this and it wasn't available and every time we asked someone they were like oh you just have to keep checking on the app to make sure um that the booking is coming up and basically you need to download the disney app and every hour you have to refresh it to see what lightning lanes are available because because we tried to book it in advance and it wouldn't let us like at all they do it by day and by hour so make sure that when you're in the park you have your phone and keep checking the lightning lanes because they change all the time like some, sometimes they reach full capacity sometimes they don't but we had like lightning lane for rise of the resistance in the star wars bit and it was a three hour queue otherwise like we only got that like out of pure luck so make sure you keep checking the app and the the genie lane thing because it is literally a lifesaver so it is worth the money if you know how to use it but the first couple of days we had no idea how to use it um, and it's not that obvious so yeah just make sure you look into how to actually use it and keep refreshing the app whilst you're in the park they are probably my top tips for disney i can't really think of anything else if i can i'll put it in my next weekly vlog but i'm actually going to end this vlog here so i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing my first kind of two weeks back to reality which has actually been really fun and um, i've got a really really busy work schedule now for the next like month or so month and a half actually um so i'm going to be vlogging a lot more and do a lot more weekly vlogs so you guys can see but i'm now going to go get a 
together. I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna have a little bit of a pamper before I go away again tomorrow. But I love you all so much, and I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.